Hello and welcome to Working With Miniatures. I'm Jim and in preparation for the Miss Marvel premiere, I'm going to be painting Miss Marvel. Kamala Khan from Marvel Crisis Protocol. Let's get to it. The box contains the data cards needed to play the character as well as a simple assembly diagram. There are two figures in this box, one that requires assembly and the other only needing to be adhered to a base. The box indicates there are two bases inside, however I found five, one for the large miniature and four to choose from for the smaller miniature. Using a pair of miniature cutters I begin removing the pieces from the sprue. You can use an X-Acto knife, but I find that the miniature cutters work best. If you don't already own a pair, consider getting some that have a flat edge on one side. This will allow you to cut as close to the miniature as possible, resulting in less cleanup and a lower chance of damaging the figure. As a note, for the head on this miniature, be sure not to cut the stubby molded spine under the neck. It looks like it's part of the sprue, but it's there by design and to assist with aligning the head. I begin cleaning mold lines and the spurs left over from the sprue. To do this I use sanding sticks of various grit and an X-Acto knife. For long, mild mold lines, the back of an X-Acto knife blade works well. If you do any sanding, be sure to brush the miniature free of dust generated from the cleanup. With super glue, I begin assembling the pieces. Be sure to dry fit them and view it from different angles, ensuring there aren't any issues prior to gluing them. This will also help prevent gluing pieces incorrectly if you're in a hurry. During assembly, I found minute gaps where pieces had been joined. To fill these, I mix a pinch of milliput and cut a small sliver to rub into the gaps. I wipe away the excess, let it dry, and then sand lightly if needed. I resume gluing the pieces together, and I could have finished assembly first, but in some instances it may be easier to fix issues prior to gluing. In this case, one of the gaps was on the shoulder, and the head and hair may have made sanding difficult. Once all the adhesives and gap filling compounds have cured, I prime the miniature with Vallejo Matte Black Primer. Mixing black and white primer at a 1 to 1 ratio, I then apply a Zenithal overhead spray across the miniatures. I follow this with another Zenithal spray only from directly overhead with white primer. Here I switch to Golden High Flow Acrylics, in this case Quinacridone Red. I love these paints as they require no thinning when sprayed through the 0.3 millimeter needle of my Iowata HPC Plus. I swap colors to Napful White Red and spray an overhead Zenithal. For the rest of the work, I swapped the brushes and army painter war paints and applied deep blue for the boots and clothing. Mixing deep blue and electric blue at a 2 to 1 ratio, I apply a large highlight over the previous base coat. With the mix of deep blue and electric blue, now at a 1 to 2 ratio, I apply a smaller highlight over the previous highlights. I apply yet another even smaller highlight with electric blue atop of the previous pair of highlights.
The last highlight for the clothing is done with Void Shield Blue, and this is applied sparingly atop the previous trio of highlights. When building highlights like this, be sure not to fully obscure, obscure the previous highlights, otherwise the resulting jump in contrast can be jarring. With Jasper Skin, I begin base coating the flesh, thinning the paint down and building it up over multiple coats. I apply strong skin wash between the fingers and around the nose and mouth, wicking away the excess at the end. I apply Jasper skin again to clean up any unwanted staining from the wash. I then highlight the Jasper skin with Dorado skin. Next, I apply small highlights of amber skin to build up the highest reflections. With thin down matte black, I paint the first layer for the hair. Mixing matte black and oak brown to a one to one ratio, I add the first highlights. The next layer of highlights are applied more sparingly, building upon the previous layer. With fur brown, I apply a final minuscule highlight for the hair. For the lightning bolt embracer, I apply a base coat of desert yellow. For the first highlight, I add demonic yellow, trying to follow the highlights of the clothing. As a note, even thinned down, I find the yellows require numerous light coats to build a smooth finish. The final highlight is done with moon dust. For the bracer, I apply some thin down strong tone wash between the bands and the wick away in the excess. This is the final result. The small miniature was painted with the same colors and in the same manner as the large one. Painting the masks, which was not recorded, was done with the same colors as the boots and clothes. I painted this last as I wanted to paint it after the eyes and after the flesh were finished. Suppose I should buy some more of these miniatures and actually play the game now. That's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you're looking forward to the premiere of Miss Marvel like I am. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like the content of this video and would like to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Jim with Working With Miniatures, and I am truly grateful for your time. I bid you a fond farewell. Till the next video.